I am Jim Fitzgerald, a certified Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt and Innovation Master, and I'm going to discuss statistics. Statistics are key to understanding the performance of your business environment. There is also a danger in statistics. You can feed any data into any statistical formula and get an answer. However, just like a computer, garbage in equals garbage out. As a Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt, it is my job to oversee individuals using statistics. However, the real experts are black belts. This is a two-part series because who wants to gulp down too much statistics? Let's start the overview. You can put any data into any statistical program and it will give you a result. The problem comes when you try to interpret the results. Statistics will give you the wrong answer if you make invalid, implicit assumptions, use the wrong type of data for the statistical formula, or otherwise use the statistical formula incorrectly. While not an expert in statistics, nor the right person to do your statistical analysis, I will take some time and go over the different statistical processes. I will go over them at a high level and try to give you a feel for the value of the information they can give you. Any statistical exercise requires some planning. The planning will align the statistical process with the information needed to make the desired business decision. The first question to ask is whether your sample comes from a population that is normally distributed. If you incorrectly assume the population is normal and it is not, you will bring error into your results. Do you care about central tendency like mean, median, or mode, or do you care about variation? What is your goal? Before you perform any statistical test, you need to determine your confidence level. For instance, do you need 95% confidence that your population mean is within a certain range or only 90% confidence? The amount of sample data you have impacts the range of the confidence interval. All of these questions and more must be answered before you start the statistical analysis. The following slides overview some of the important statistical processes. I list the name of the test and describe what is tested. What is tested gives you the information about what the statistical test is used for. The test statistic is just for reference and the goal gives you a short summary of what problem you're trying to solve. Finally, I'll give you an example of how the test is used. The Kappa analysis tests whether two or more people that are ranking something are consistent or repeatable and reproducible. The goal is to assess measurement error. An example could be college entrance examiners that are grading essays. The goal is to determine whether the two examiners grade or rate consistently. Another example might be two individuals reading a gauge. Does one individual put a bias into the reading? The Anderson-Darling normality test is an extremely important test. This test gives you a probability that your test data is normally distributed. This is important because some statistical tests are designed to only work with normal distributions. So, right off the bat, you are going to determine whether you use parametric or normal distribution tests or non-parametric statistical tests for conditions where the test data is not normally distributed. The best known use of the F-test is with ANOVA. This tests normally distributed populations as to whether they have the same variance or standard deviation. An example could be looking at steel hardness. You may wonder if two different steel production processes generate steel with the same hardness. Use the F-test to determine the answer. If your interest is mostly in variation, then this test will compare variations with any specific confidence interval. ANOVA, or the abbreviation for Analysis of Variation, tests whether a set of sample means between several samples are statistically significantly different from each other. An example could be looking at three orthopedic surgeons performing the same knee operations and evaluating average operation time. This would give you information guiding you to performance improvement. 
Gauge R and R is the amount of measurement variation introduced by a measurement system. Every measurement system is going to add measurement variation. This also includes individuals. Any time that you are taking a measurement, you are doing it through a system, such as a gauge or your eyes. The accuracy of the real data is distorted. An example might be the temperature reading of a continuous manufacturing process. The only thing you know for sure is that the reading is not 100% accurate. At that point, it becomes important to get a feel for the repeatability and reproducibility of the reading. This directly leads to your confidence in the results. This has been a high-level view of some of the statistics used to improve products and services. This first phase has focused only on parametric statistical processes, which are populations that are normally distributed. The next video will delve into statistics you would use for populations that are either not normal or unknown. The right statistics will help you monitor your performance and give you guidance into potential areas to focus your improvement efforts. I am Jim Fitzgerald, a certified Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt and Innovation Master. The correct use of statistics will help guide you in any performance effort you undertake. I look forward to guiding the improvement of your business.